All right, why don't you um, introduce yourselves? Really? Yeah. Who doesn't know who I am? Yeah, exactly. Who doesn't know who we are? Okay, why don't we try that again? Can you get both? Are we both in the frame or do mm -hmm. This is the story of motorsports. <laughs> But it doesn't start here, in the back of a pickup truck, on the way to get some pizzas. We are going to pick up some pizzas. And some salads for Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta lose some weight. I gotta increase my power to weight ratio. It starts here, at a mom and pop auto parts store in Groton, Connecticut. So how does this turn into this? Alright, wait, wait, wait. Hey, real quick. What do you want to say to the camera? Anything? Nothing. I want to say nothing. I want to go in and drive. Welcome to the paddock. Here, here really what happened is Scott and Alex asked, you know, they wanted to grow. Can you do more of that during the video? That's Scott Drozd, CEO of FCP Euro, and Alex Frank, VP of e-commerce. So Scott and Alex uh, wanted to grow the BMW catalog, and I told them I had a BMW race car and wanted to go racing, and they said sure. So I raced an E30 for a year. 83 hours out of my P-Stone driveway, and then, um, you know, started full-time in FC Piero. We told, uh, you know, long hours talking about what else we could drive and figured that Mercedes would be a good car. And My second hour of employment, I asked Scott if we can build a C300 and build out the Mercedes catalog. And my third hour of employment, he said, yeah, sure, go do that, so. We did that, ran 104 hours, finished second out of 139 cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so actually, uh, that was, pretty close to how it went down. We were invited up to a marketing conference that Michael was speaking at. He was up on stage talking about from marketing, he was talking about his BMW. And I turned to Alex and I said, a marketing guy that knows European cars, you gotta have him. Brought him on October 2016 where he ended up taking over the marketing department. So with that, I'm gonna hand this off to Michael. Michael's one of our newest members. My name is Michael Herzen and I have a problem. I suffer from a condition called automotive he said, oh, by the way, uh, we need this other guy. He, he's, the, he's the guy that makes sure everything doesn't fall apart and all the pieces come together. And so you brought me aboard, but we, we, we need to bring Nate aboard too because he's, he's, he's important. The first two hours we were talking about the Mercedes race car. Within the next month, we had the car in our lot. And two months later, it was finished and ready to race at uh, Road Atlanta. AR was really exciting to go and see our C300 on the track. But what was really exciting when we got to see the MT35 IR on national TV. We're green, Whitmer, a great start. Magnoli in the third, and they're bunching up in the backside. Looks like everybody's going to get through cleanly, though. The enthusiasm around uh, that big of an event on the national scale, it's, it's big. It's, 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 it's much bigger. We went to SEMA and Apex and, and we kind of told the story and we, we had this vision for building Volkswagen out and we knew the TCR, the VW TCR was coming to the States and the Audi had done pretty well and there's going to be dedicated TCR classes so we, we went to a couple companies, discussed what we want to do and we partnered up with them. So we have 034 Motorsport, it's Likamali. We have Saks Performance. And then to run the whole operation, because this was a little too big for us to handle with our little 24-foot enclosed trailer um, and our Ford pickup truck that likes to break down. And we're outsourcing a lot of the, the setup and the crew and the logistics to uh, HRD, or Highland Racing Development. So are you like, are you guys sellouts now? Like you have a team that's like prepping the cars for you, you arrive and drive, you go home, go on a plane. Yeah, yeah white gloves. So we're still running a company. And we've got to make sure that we do what we do best, which is sell parts, catalog, inventory, ship our product to our customers. Someday I'd love to just show up at a track and somebody say, hey, Mr. Herzen, your car's ready to go have fun. And so, uh, looks like that might be tomorrow. Next time on The Paddock. Watch this. Are you literally a kid on Christmas yeah, morning? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Watch this.